Okay, so for this session, I'm going to read through the part that's labeled culture. Okay, again, this is found in your packet of the Southwest region. Okay, but before I go ahead and read that page, I'm gonna run through the questions so we know what we are looking for and what to highlight. All right, so the first two questions, these are the true or false before we read. The first question says, more Native Americans live in the Southwest region than in any other regions of the United States. Before we read, do you think that is true or false? Please write T for true or F for false. Okay. Number two, many of the foods served in the Southwest region are spicy. T for true or F for false. Make sure you are recording those in the before box. Okay, for the short answer questions, you have two. The first one said, as sorry, is asking, name the Native American tribes that live in the Southwest region. Okay, so you're going to be listing the tribes' names. Number two, list some of the foods that are made with tortillas. Okay, so again, you are going to list a series of foods. All right, let's get started. So now we are going to go back to our packet on page six, where the top it says culture and it has lots of yummy pictures of food. All right, so in the top left corner, food. Tortillas are important ingredients in traditional Southwestern cooking. The tortilla acts as a wrapper or as bread. Wedges of tortillas are fried to make tortilla chips, nachos, tacos, enchiladas, quesadillas, and burritos are also made with tortillas. Okay, so let's go ahead and highlight that, okay? The tortilla acts as a wrapper as bread. Okay, let's start with one, two, three, four, the fifth line down where it says wedges of tortillas are fried to make tortilla chips, nachos, tacos, enchiladas, quesadillas, and burritos. Okay, so highlight all of those because that is a list of food that is made with tortillas. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and keep reading the second paragraph that starts with because. Sorry, I had something on my screen. Because many kinds of hot chili peppers are grown in the Southwest, many of the foods served there are spicy. Green chili peppers are made into salsa. Red chili peppers are used in slow cooked dishes. The most popular slow cooked dish is chili con carne, often known simply as chili. Chili con carne, chili with meat, is made with meat simmered in a sauce of dried red chili peppers, tomatoes, and a variety of spices. Contests are held throughout the Southwest to choose the best chili. Okay, so with your highlighter, let's go ahead and highlight that first sentence. Because many kinds of hot chili peppers are grown in the Southwest, many of the foods there are spicy. So that whole first sentence, start with because and that's spicy. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Tamales are made from masa, a dough of corn, with a filling of shredded beef that has been stewed with red chilies and spices. They are wrapped in corn husks and steamed. The corn husks are removed at the table before the tamales are eaten. While tamales are served throughout the year in restaurants in the Southwest, tamales are a traditional Christmas food. Families and friends gather to assemble dozens of tamales. Southwestern desserts are fairly simple, serving as a soothing finish to a spicy meal. Sopapeas, a kind of deep fried donuts, are served as a dessert with honey. Another favorite dessert is flan, a baked custard. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and on the top right corner where it says people, 
I'm going to start there. Parts of the Southwest once belonged to Spain and Mexico. Spain sent priests to the Southwest in the early 1700s. The priests built churches and missions where they taught the Native Americans about the Christian religion. In 1845, Texas decided to split off from Mexico and join the United States. This caused a war between Mexico and the United States over who owned the land. The United States won. Mexico had to give the land to the United States, but parts of Spanish and Mexican culture are still seen in the region. Many people in the Southwest speak Spanish. Many foods and festivals in the region come from Spain or Mexico. Many buildings are made in Spanish, Mexican, and Native American styles. The Southwest has many Spanish American and Native American people. More Native Americans live in the Southwest than in any other region of the United States. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there and highlight that because I remember one of our questions asking that, I believe it was true or false, okay? More Native Americans live in the Southwest region than in any other region in the United States. So go ahead and highlight that. Okay, and I'm gonna continue reading. The Navajo reservation is the home of the biggest American Indian tribe. Many of the Navajo who live there still follow their Native American traditions, while others have a more modern lifestyle. Some people live in modern homes while others live in traditional homes called Hogan's. Other tribes in the Southwest include the Hopi, Zuni, and Apache. So I'm gonna highlight that because it's listing our other tribes. So we have the Navajo, so I'm just gonna highlight that up there, right? Okay, but then other tribes, Hopi, Zuni, and the Apache. Okay, so those last two lines, go ahead and highlight that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the questions. I will read them one more time. Don't forget, you can always pause me until you're done writing or answering the question and then go ahead and play me again for the next one. Okay, so now that we've read, we're gonna mark the after box, true or false? More Native Americans live in the Southwest region than in any other region of the United States. Number two, many of the foods served in the Southwest region are spicy, true or false? Okay, and then for your short answer questions, Name the Native American tribes that live in the Southwest region. Okay, number two, list some of the foods that are made with tortillas. Now again, remember that number one and number two, you are listing the items, okay? All right, so that will complete our packet. Okay, so that should finish us up through the whole week. Next week, you are going to have your test on both the states and capitals, but a friendly reminder, you only have four states, four capitals, so it shouldn't take too long. Go ahead and stop sharing this, and I will talk to you later.